Hey guys, Mike with Advanced Diagnostics. I'm inside a 2017 Subaru WRX STI. Um, this, we're making a duplicate key. Um, we have one key working and we're going to add a second one. You can see that the remotes don't work. And if you simply stick the key in the ignition, you'll see the security light comes on solid. That's telling you that this key is not programmed to the car. Um, this happens to be one of my uh, personal favorite cars. Really neat, neat vehicles. Um, so we'll select Subaru. You'll notice that these are also still on the G key system. Um, they haven't changed in 17. Um, this is a rebuilt key that I reshelled myself, so there's no markings on it. But it is a G chip um, that I recovered and put a pod in into the key. This is an Impreza WRX 15 to 17 G blade. We're going to connect to the immobilizer. Switch ignition off. Switch hazards on. Um, we're going to first erase all of the old keys out of memory. You're going to switch the ignition on with a registered key. Select yes to continue. You heard the chime. Let's turn this off. The procedure did work. If you want to check, you can make sure we now only have one key. We do. So we'll switch this off. We're now going to program keys. It's going to ask us to switch it on with the registered key first. Switch it off and remove. Switch it on with the new key. And now we have two keys programmed. Do you want to program any more? No. Procedure complete. We'll switch it off. We are now going to erase our remotes to get all the old remotes out of memory. We'll switch it on with this key. It is now registered, so it is a registered key. Our remotes have now been cleared. We are now going to program both remotes. Switch ignition on again. Switch ignition off and remove the key. Press lock, then unlock. Lock, unlock. There's one. Lock, unlock on the next one. There's two. Okay. Remotes program two. Please test the remotes. They have both work. We'll step on the clutch and use the new key to start the car. And we're good to go. 2017 Subaru WRX STI.